This trick to lower your Alzheimer's risk may surprise you. It's probably more of a way of life, really. <laughs> that in a report at Study Finds. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Okay, I was called a crabby old man when I turned 18, and it turns out that I may be onto something. <laughs> okay, now I'm friendly enough and outgoing enough, but when I'm ready to relax and be by myself, I can be pretty stubborn. And the happy news is that I'm learning today that is the research finds that being just a little stubborn and argumentative may protect against dementia and Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does. Now get off my lawn. Before you go and pick a fight with the next person who looks at you funny, the lack of agreeability would be most effective if accompanied by a healthy dose of curiosity and an aversion to conformity. Ooh, this gets better all the time. They're writing my biography. <laughs> According to researchers at the University of Geneva, people with that personality combination showed better preservation of brain areas that usually deteriorate and lose volume during the aging process and lead to an Alzheimer's diagnosis. Now, a little word about conformity. That doesn't mean sticking it to the man and getting a screw you tattoo on your forehead, because that's what everyone does who's trying to stick it to the man and conform to prove they're rebels like everyone else. <laughs> so you're conforming with rebels. See? Okay. The research team had been studying a group of elderly people for several years through the use of both brain imaging and psychocognitive evaluations to make this discovery. They had theorized that certain personality traits may be able to protect the brain against degeneration and were proven correct. Well, I know it protects my lawn when I tell people to get off my lawn. <laughs> In what the researchers call groundbreaking, for decades, Scientists have been trying to develop an effective treatment against Alzheimer's that would reverse and repair the brain damage done by excessive levels of amyloid. That's a small protein believed to be the nastiness in the brain behind Alzheimer's disease. Now, this new research suggests that non-biological means like personality may be part of the answer. Scientists say that when outward signs of Alzheimer's appear, it's often already too late to stave off the disease. They say this study could change the way these disorders are approached and help create new treatments. So in short, people who are unpleasant, afraid of conflict, and resist conformity appear to have better protected brains. Moreover, this protective property resides exactly where Alzheimer's is known to take root, in the memory circuits. Uh-oh. I'm not a huge fan of conflict. I might need to change that. Where's my water? I need to take my back pill so I can get to bed at 6.30. Is that more disagreeable? I hope so. Researchers said that an openness to new experiences also displayed a protective effect, albeit not as prominently as the other traits. As far as why these specific traits have this effect, the study authors remain in the dark, but they believe they've taken an important step in better understanding dementia as a whole and effectively treating it. They conclude it is a, quote, important part of a complex puzzle. Okay, I may not be able to change my personality overnight, but holy cow, that phrase only the good die young keeps coming back to me. Well, Alzheimer's is truly an awful disease, and I'm glad there are smart people, way smarter than me, out there working on it. Now turn off the lights. Are you trying to interrogate me? What are you, a director or something? <laughs> Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.